Francisco Lopez has a small coffee plantation in the East Timor countryside. Last year, he made slightly more than $100. He says it is not enough to buy what he needs. It was thought coffee would be East Timor's economic salvation when the island became independent. But as exports increased, the price of coffee in the world market dropped. International aid organizations working with a group called the Cooperativa Café Timor are helping farmers produce and market higher quality coffee for specialty coffee chains such as Starbucks. The Cooperativa also encourages farmers to grow other crops like vanilla and raise cattle to supplement their incomes. But new industries and development are needed to create jobs in urban areas where 40% of the population is unemployed. Tourism is slowly growing. Paul Piaye came from Australia not just to enjoy the quiet beaches, but also to race in the Tour de Timor, the country's first international cross-country bicycle race. Yeah, I'm impressed. It's, they're getting there. They've still got a long way to go. Developer Tony Jape is building a new modern office and apartment complex and betting that the country will continue to develop. Let's look forward. Uh, I think a lot of people have focused the past and now this project uh, will give a pride to the Timorese, uh, Timorese and the government and the people here. East Timor is also becoming a major energy producer. The development of oil and gas resources in the East Timor Sea has so far generated close to $5 billion in revenue for the government. Some of the money goes to buy rice from Vietnam, which is then sold below cost to help the poor in East Timor. But critics such as former Prime Minister Mari al of the opposition Fredolin Party say this policy hurts local rice producers who cannot compete. You are stopping the, pro the, the productivity of the country, you are really blocking the, the productions, and this is not uh, the, the kind of development that you are looking for. All seem to agree that the money should be used for long-term development needs. Maria Lai is a member of the ruling CNRT party, the National Congress for Timorese Reconstruction. She says first on the government's list is building new power plants. The, the government have identified that the critic uh, problem that we have at the moment is electricity for all the population and we are starting. We hope that uh, it will finish in two, two years later, maybe at 2011. But this plan has also come under criticism. The proposed power plants will burn heavy oil, which must be imported and causes pollution. Arguments over how to spend East Timor's newfound wealth continue to slow the pace of economic progress. Brian Padden, VOA News, Dili.